So I get asked a lot, what freezes well? What doesn't freeze well? Just take a stroll down your store's aisles and see what they got going on in there and you'll be surprised. You can freeze pretty much everything. We're gonna start with the number one thing I get asked a lot about is dairy. I have frozen butter for years. The cool thing about it is it doesn't change texture or consistency after it's frozen. So whenever I see a good deal, I stock up. And when I say I stock up, I stock up. Milk is another great thing that you can freeze. Milk sometimes separates a bit when you freeze it, but all you have to do is shake it up once it's thawed. Then it mixes great again and it isn't a problem. You just simply put your jug in the freezer as is because the circle area will expand and keep the jug from bursting as the milk freezes. If you're worried about it bursting, you wanna empty about two inches of the container before you freeze it. Next up, we have sour cream, cottage cheese, and cream cheese. All three are freezable, but the consistency will change in them a little bit when it's frozen. And when it unfreezes, it'll be a little bit watery, especially with your cottage cheese, but they still work great in casserole, soups, lasagnas, and baked goods. Yogurt, I have been freezing yogurt for years. Just like the milk products, it changes consistency slightly, but it's still perfect to use in recipes. We like to freeze the Go-Gurts. They're perfect for the kids' lunches. Throw them in their lunch box, and by the time lunch rolls around, it's nice and thawed. They have a yummy, nice, cold yogurt. Cheese, I absolutely love freezing cheese. If you see a great deal in the store, stock up. I've recently stocked up on cheese at a great deal the last few weeks in one of our stores. I was able to get 32 ounces of these block cheeses for $5.99. So if you grab bags of shredded cheese, just throw them straight into your freezer. When it's time to use, just crunch up the bag, set it in your fridge, and you're ready to go. When it comes to your block cheeses, you can shred it, add it to your bag. You could put a little bit of cornstarch in there, shake it all up, and this helps it from sticking together as it thaws. And a lot of the times with my big blocks of cheese, I like to split them up and put them in the food saver bags and throw them in the freezer. When it comes to freezing a big block of cheese, set it out on your counter at room temperature, and then once it's thawed, put it in your refrigerator. It helps a bit with all the major crumbling. Did you know that eggs are freezable? This is something that I've been trying out lately. So you can freeze eggs for long-term storage. One way that it freezes up nicely is in these silicone muffin trays, but make sure that mold is on a flat cutting board or a cookie sheet underneath so it's much easier to put in the freezer. I've also seen this done in an ice cube tray. So just sit the pan in your freezer. These could take a couple of hours to freeze up. Once they're frozen, just pop them out and place them into your freezer bags. When you wanna use the frozen eggs, just pull whatever amount you need, thaw for a few hours or overnight in a bowl in the refrigerator, and you're good to go. Let's jump into some fruits and vegetables. Did you know you could freeze avocados? Yep, I've done it before and it works really well. What I do is cut them in half, take them out of their casings, and then I rub some lemon juice or lime juice on them. I've even placed them in a food saver bag and had the machine pull the air out just before they start really squishing them and then I seal it and it works great. You can freeze your garlic and onions. I love freezing garlic, especially when I buy a ton from like the bulk stores and if they're starting to go bad and I can't get through them, it's freezing them is perfect. So what I like to do is peel them and then I like to put them in a freezable container stick them in my freezer. You could put that frozen clove right into your garlic press. If you're wondering which veggies you could freeze, again, just stroll down your frozen veggie section and take a gander. Mashed potatoes. Oh yes, my friends, you could freeze mashed potatoes. So I prepared my mashed potatoes like we like them with some milk, butter, salt, and with a scoop, I just placed them down on a baking sheet with some parchment paper. I did one pan without the parchment paper and they both came off easy. I did some hearty scoops, stuck them in the freezer for a little while, brought them back out, they popped off the tray very well, put them in the Ziploc bag, and boom, we have portions of mashed potatoes for a quick meal. Online, they say they could last up to two months in your freezer, but honestly, you can go longer. You can also freeze potatoes, but you do have to parboil them. I've done this before. It is time consuming, but worth it. I'll have a link down below on how you can freeze your cubed potatoes. Tomatoes, yes. You can freeze your tomatoes and you can freeze them whole. 
when they thaw, they are very mushy. But if you're not big into canning, freezing them is the way to go. If you're freezing them, you'll wanna use them for like sauce, or turning it into ketchup, or tomato paste, or even salsa. Frozen tomatoes are a great way to cook with, but not so great to eat raw. So what I love to use my frozen tomatoes for is homemade tomato soup. Super easy. You just stick your frozen rock tomatoes into your slow cooker, let it cook. I'll be having a video coming out soon sharing more with you on the frozen tomatoes. Corn on the cob can be frozen. I've done it without the husks on and with. I just cut them in half or thirds them, put them in my food saver bag and throw them in the freezer. They last a lot longer if you do it this way than just in a freezable Ziploc bag. Just sit them out that day you wanna cook them up, take them out of their husks, put them in a pot of boiling water and you're good to go. You can even put this in the microwave. You can also freeze jalapenos. I like to dice them up, get them in a container or a bag, pop them in the freezer. Once they're in the freezer, take them out, shake them up a bit and they're good to go. Throw them in any recipe. It's so worth it. Butternut squash freezes so well, you guys. Just peel it, slice it down the middle, clean out the middle of it, cube it up. You can put this on a baking sheet, put it in your freezer for a while to individually freeze, but honestly, they do really well just putting it in a food saver bag, getting the air out, and just putting it in your freezer. You could freeze grapes, and they're actually my husband's favorite treat to have. Just put them all in a bag, put them in the freezer, and you're good to go. It really is such a nice, cool treat. So when grape season comes around, buy a bunch that are on sale and freeze them. You could freeze bananas. You could slice them up and put them on a baking sheet and freeze them individually, or just throw all the bananas in the freezer. And then later you can make smoothies or banana bread. Berries freeze very well, and they can be expensive. So when you see a great sale, stock up on them. Just wash them really good, drain the water off, put them in a baggie and stick them in the freezer. They do get mushy when they thaw, so you can either eat them frozen or throw them into smoothies or for baking. You can even freeze your peaches. I love freezing my peaches. When I get a good deal on peaches or I go to the farmer's market and get a box, I'll peel them, slice them up, stick them on a baking sheet, put them in the freezer for a little while, so then they're nice and individually frozen and I'll put them in a Ziploc bag or a food saver bag and stick them in the freezer. You can also freeze zest, so zest from limes, lemons, oranges, you could easily freeze that. Apple pie filling. Oh yes, I have a couple of videos on how you can do this. I'll link them below. So just prepare your apples how you normally would. I like to put parchment paper down on your pie pan and then put the pie filling in and then wrap that all up and get it in the freezer. So that way when it's time to make a yummy apple pie, all I have to do is to put that frozen round circle of apple pie filling right into my dough and we're good to go for baking. You can even freeze cooked rice. So if you have leftover rice, you could put it in a freezer safe container. So when you wanna use it again as a side dish, just add a little water to the rice when heating it up, cause when freezing it dries out, and then you're good to go. You can use it in soup too. And if you use it in a soup, you don't even need to thaw it, just throw it in. You could also freeze cooked or dry beans. Cook up a big batch of them, Two cups is actually the equivalent of one can. You could freeze homemade pesto or store-bought pesto. I like to buy store-bought pesto. This jar here is from Costco. I'll put them in little containers, pop them in the fridge, and I can actually get three portions of this pesto. I can make my favorite freezer meal, which is pesto ranch chicken. Let's talk about baking doughs. Oh my goodness, you could freeze pretty much any kind of dough. Cookie dough, pizza dough, pie crust. I like to make pizza kits with my pizza dough. Put a little bit of oil to my Ziploc bag, add my pizza dough in. That way when it thaws out, it slips out of the baggie and I'm able to press it down on our pizza pan. For your cookie dough, all you need to do is just let them freeze for a couple of hours, take them out, throw them in a Ziploc baggie and you're good to go. All you need to do for baking is just preheat your oven, stick the cookie dough on your baking sheet and bake away. Freeze your bread. If you see a good sale on bread, stock up and go ahead and freeze. Homemade bread freezes up really well too. And with your bread, you can freeze sandwiches. I like to freeze ham sandwiches and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for back to school time. You can also freeze breadcrumbs. 
This helps them from going rancid. Let's talk about breakfast. You can freeze pancakes, French toast. They freeze up and cook up really well. Throw them in the microwave or your toaster oven and you're good to go. So you can freeze your pie crust, box pie crust, pre-made pie crust, or your pie crust dough. This is actually super convenient to do around the holidays. It'll save you so much time. Just tightly wrap it in plastic, place in a freezer bag, and freeze. When you're ready to use it, just let it thaw, roll out the dough, and proceed as usual. You could also freeze tortillas. You can even freeze rolls. You could freeze them already baked up, just like your bread, or you could freeze your rolls into round balls. Again, put them on a cookie sheet, place them in the freezer for a few hours, then add them to a bag for your freezer for long term. You can also freeze pasta. This is something I don't do very often, but it's totally possible. When I do freeze this, I like to cook it till it's just al dente, let it cool, add it to my bags, and throw it in the freezer. I especially like to do this when I'm making minestrone soup, so then I can add my penne pasta right into our soup and it's good to go. If you want to store your flour for long term, you can actually put your bag of flour into your freezer. There is a method where you could put your flour in lunch sacks and then put that lunch sack bag in your food saver bag, food saver it up, and you have flour to last you for a long time. You could freeze nuts. This helps them stay fresher longer. Any type of meat. I like to freeze our lunch meat, especially when I see a good deal on it. I like to freeze my pepperoni, and salamis, they freeze up really well. So then later I can add them to pizzas, sandwiches, charcuterie boards. If you freeze ground beef and you thaw it out and end up cooking it up to use in a later recipe, especially tacos or casseroles, you could freeze that again. This helps you save so much time to get ready for dinner. I also love freezing ground sausage. I'll take my package of sausage, fry it up, let it cool, Add it to a container or my Ziploc bag, throw it in the freezer. So when I wanna make a breakfast casserole or add it to a pasta sauce, it's ready to go. When you wanna freeze your raw meat, when it comes to chicken, turkey, pork loin, they can get freezer burned very quickly. So you wanna wrap them up really good and then get them in your bags. I have had our meats and proteins last way over a year. Are you guys surprised by what you can freeze? In the comments below, let me know what are some of the things that kind of blew your mind or that you already knew or that you never even thought about. So now that you know some of the techniques, things that freeze well, things that don't freeze well, it's time to stock up. Bye.